On behalf of the Anne Arundel County Public Schools Music Office, I want to welcome you to the 2021-22 Concerto and Aria Competition Featured Performers Broadcast. My name is Jessica Valade, and I'm the coordinator of music for the system. As things in our music program this year started to return to something that looked a little bit more like what we consider to be normal, we've been thinking about what we learned during the pandemic. As a part of that thinking, we considered if there were things we created as a response to a vastly different mode of learning that we wanted to continue. The Concerto and Aria competition started last year as a response to our inability to hold our usual events in a typical manner is one such event. This year, we are excited to highlight four dynamic individuals representing the best of our AACPS music program. The students are diverse in personality as well as musical repertoire, and we know you'll enjoy every moment of their performances. As you'll see, music education is alive and well in Anne Arundel County. I played the bass guitar, and I really wanted to be in the school's jazz band, but you need to be in band to be in jazz band. So you phone him, and now I play that better than I play bass guitar. I just think music is so cool, and you get to, like, it's just me, my air and a hunk of metal. And it's crazy that that like makes things that sound good and sound fun. But performing is cool because you can share it with other people. Not all students, as we know, take music like completely seriously. They're in it for social, they're in it for different reasons. But uh, I think Paige is, is a lifer in music, so to speak. And she just engrosses herself in music. Solo and ensemble, all county, all state. She made uh, the NAFME all national band this year too so so she takes her art very seriously and it's it's just great having a student like that who can be a role model of what we want our students to be in the music do the concerto play something you like because it's super important to play things you like listen to the music a lot because you get inspiration in things doing this is not something you can do overnight you can't you can't cram for the concerto competition you can't cram in music really you got to practice your parts it takes time and Paige has taken the whole process very seriously she's been working on this piece of music for a long time Horvitz concerto is my favorite euphonium concerto so that's just kind of been one piece that I've been working on for a long time morphing into be being in use for multiple different things and it's good to like the piece too a lot of people say the Horvitz Concerto, the first movement is for the head, the second movement is for the heart, and the third movement is for the feet because it's just fun. Music is so fun and the people that you do music with are super fun as well. And so obviously I would want other people to have just as much fun. The friends you make and the people you know and the culture and vibe around it is just something that is awesome. All the people in music help shape who I am.
I've been playing for five years. I started in middle school, but before that I played the violin. The low pitches and the fact that they could also go really high, I thought it was a really cool instrument and added a lot to the orchestra. Like without bass, everything just sounds like it's missing something. I play in the Chesapeake Youth Symphony Orchestra and I also am in the school marching band and just, you know, whatever I can find in the summer. Sometimes I play in like summer programs that need a bassist. So I really try and do everything just so I get that experience of playing with ensembles. There's not enough hours in the day for the things she does. Her level of ability is completely unmatched. But the more important thing is she just loves it so much. It, she just radiates while she's playing. I was pretty shy, I didn't talk a lot. But you know, being in the orchestra and the marching band, not only do you kind of get like forced to make friends in those situations, but you also realize that you have to play out, you know, you can't be shy. And when you're not shy playing your instrument, you tend to be a little better talking as well. It really allows you to apply things to other situations because you have to have confidence when you play. And so it gives you a little more confidence in like, your social life. My biggest piece of advice would be just play for everyone and anyone that will listen. Really do it because you love it and you really, it, you just want another opportunity to perform for people. Practice it enough that you could play it with your eyes closed. Because if you don't really know a piece well, you're not going to play it well when you're nervous. Connect it to a personal experience. Whatever it reminds you of is what you're gonna to wanna to think of when you play, because that's what you have the best connection to. I'll be attending the University of Georgia in the fall, and I'm majoring in music. I believe I'd like to play in a symphony orchestra one day. And even if I don't end up working solely as a musician, I want to keep playing the bass and keep ensembles in my life. I like seeing the audience's expressions, seeing them be like, wow, a bass can do that. Like, not a lot of people hear bass solos ever. And then when I'm in the orchestra, I like being able to like listen to my part and listen to the people around me and know that it all fits together. And and just hear that kind of unity. It's my favorite thing about performing and being in the orchestra. She raises the attitude of every group she's ever in. She's an amazing person. Mm-hmm.
I started singing when I was really young. Uh, my grandma, I would stay with her and I would sit on her living room floor and watch musical theater all the time on like these old VHS tapes and I fell in love with it and I just started singing whenever I could and I branched out into doing musical theater in the community and my school and now in PBA I've started doing classical music too. I just loved it. It was something that I loved doing in choir. I'd done the saxophone so much in school and then choir and then I was like, wait, like I want more of this. I want as much as possible I can get. And so that really led me to picking, you know, singing, which is what I love doing. It's such a vulnerable art form, I feel like, and it really allows me to express myself and not only express myself to others, but have more of an understanding of how I feel. They're so dedicated to their craft and they want to utilize every resource possible given to them. They will go above and beyond to just fine tune their craft. Gabby is just, she's kind of the little mama hen of everybody and loves to help out and really mentor our younger singers too. Kaylee's talent is just phenomenal too. She also seeks out advice and fine tuning on the regular. She will research things and look into the background of characters and, and really take risks with her acting. Uh, she really likes to get into the character. So watching them rehearse was really fun too and, and having them grow throughout this process of, of learning the song and really refining it. We're not looking for perfection. We just want progress. We want to see you grow as a musician. Just being a musician has helped me and every single aspect of my life, with my schoolwork, with getting my driver's license, with just anything. So I realized not everything's going to be perfect and it probably isn't going to be. I think music has definitely shaped a big part of me. I think it has allowed me to tap into my emotions. When you're a musician, you get exposed to a lot of different things and different stories, and it helps you to become more empathetic. The connection you make when you're performing is different than like any connection in your daily life. I think it's beautiful and it's vulnerable and it allows you to share a story with someone and how you're feeling and I think it's beautiful. We actually were given this piece, um, an opera scene to Class Eight at Studio 39. So over quarantine we were like, we really we have to perform this piece because it's been like two years and we're like, we have to perform this. <laughs> They really took it upon themselves to prepare most of it. Their, again, their work ethic is just so strong and they're so highly motivated. Since we've had it for so long, we've gotten to like mess around with it and try it a whole bunch of different ways. And I feel like we have like a really good uh, relationship and we're really well at singing together. So it was just really nice to get to like play around with it together and see all the different things we could do. So we have an older woman right here who is like the lady of the house and I'm the younger maid. And I, I'm going to get married to Figaro. And she's like, no, you're not. I'm like, I'm just as good as you. And we're, you know, I, I'm i also like capable of taking Figaro. In the end, we find out that Figaro is actually Marcellina's son. So that's kind of really weird. <laughs> as a soloist vocalist, I've never had to share this stage with anybody. So we really have to make sure we're interacting because whatever we're giving off to each other is exactly what the audience is giving. Yeah, That's one of the aspects I like about it though because I feel like we can use each other's interactions and reactions to like really get into character ourselves and play off of each other.
the opportunity to get to know our four finalists in addition to hearing and seeing their splendid performances. We'd like to thank our system partners that helped make this event possible, Studio 39, the home of our Performing and Visual Arts program, and our fabulous team from Design and Print Services that made the recording and production of this broadcast possible. Special thanks goes out to our AACPS music teachers that lay the musical foundation for every student in our system and provide phenomenal opportunities to continue studies in music through the end of their educational career with us. In addition, we'd be remiss not to mention the support of our Board of Education as well as Dr. Arlotto. As Dr. Arlotto completes his final year as our superintendent here in AACPS, we want to send one final message of gratitude to him for his consistent, strong leadership and support for our music program, as well as all of our arts programs. Finally, a huge thank you to you, our families and community members. We wouldn't be able to maintain such a vibrant music program without your support. Thanks to each of you for joining us for this program and for being a part of our music community. Thank you.